Hello and welcome to United NDT. Today I want to show you how to calibrate the UD port for TR probes. TR probes are used for corrosion measurement, that means remaining wall thickness measurement on corroded parts. So I choose from the main menu corrosion for the corrosion function or corrosion measurement function. First I go to calibration. What I need to do and to check is first of all that the probe delay is zero. Usually that's the case when I change the probe or when I change the probe I should first set it to zero because the system automatically will calculate the right probe delay. Now then I also have to choose what kind of measurement I want to do, either from zero to first echo or multi-echo modus, which is the same as through coating or through paint measurement. Well, first of all, let's have a look at the zero to first measurement. I go to basic, auto calibration. Now I couple my probe to the test piece, to the calibration block. Let's, I have a 4 mm calibration block here, so I put the thickness on 4 mm, click Next. Now I choose my monitor gate, I click on Set, and again choose the gain properly so that my range is covered. Now I see 4 mm is shown here. Probe delay, sound velocity is also automatically measured. Now the calibration is done. I go out of the calibration mode, go to the measurement mode, and here I can start now my, with my measurements. 4 mm, 5 mm, 6, 7 mm, and even 10 mm. Of course, I also can click to this kind of display and now get the new measurements, 5 mm, 4 and even 3 mm for example. Now this is the way how to calibrate the TR probe for standard mode measuring from 0 to first echo. And now I want to show you uh, how the um, through coating or through paint measurement works and how it is calibrated. First of all, why do we need this kind of feature? Sometimes we have uh, coatings or paint on certain materials and we just want to know the basic or the base material thickness. So in that case, uh, Usually we have to remove the paint to just get the thickness of the base material, but with this feature of through paint or through coating measurement, see, uh, we are able to eliminate the um, layer thickness. Suppose uh, I'm measuring on a on a test piece which has some paint layer on. It's a four millimeter base material with some layer. Uh, some coating on it, and one can see here we measure 4.27 millimeters. Now this is caused due to the fact that the um, the layer has a different sound velocity. In fact, the layer is maybe 0.07 millimeter only, but due to the different sound velocity, it's calculated uh, with a much higher value. That's why we see 4.24 millimeter here. Now, I want to show how to calibrate now 
in multi echo modus or through paint through coating measurement. Now I first choose this function. Then I go to auto calibration. Again I'm calibrating on four millimeter thickness with my calibration block. Put the gate somewhere here to cover my measurement area. Now set the value. Now it's probably calibrated. But what it does now is not just measuring the distance from zero to the first echo. Now it measures from the first peak to the second peak. So that distance is evaluated. Now let's move back to the measurement mode. Now putting on the cal block first. It measures four millimeter. Now I go onto the block which shows uh, with the paint on, the paint layer, and one can see the same measurement value is shown because it automatically eliminates the um, layer of paint or the coating. So, a rather simple task to do this kind of calibration. Thanks for your attention and in case of any further question, please do not hesitate to contact us on the www.united-entity.com.